don't know. When I say they, I don't know the, the they's. I'm just saying it's like, why give this man life? You know? Well, the thing, but hell, I mean, this guy has a, a history of spewing some vile anti-black racism. That's uh, you think we should just ignore that? Like, yeah, it's like Freddy Krueger, bro. It's like if we give him attention that, like, as black people, it's like, yo, he's ignorant, obviously, but giving him the algorithms of speaking of him and just, like, everybody's, like, uh, outraged. And I want to say uh, there is people that is fake outrage. And it's just, like, it's a, it's a, it's a trend. Like, let me, oh, I, I'm, I'm going to be uh, upset because he said this word. And it's just like, yo, you didn't even have to give him no light. He's already getting a hundred millions of dollars for but this. You like, it's like, but, but you understand the ramifications for that type of rhetoric and how that affects black people. Do you understand that, sir? Schooly, turn I want to say, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it's like it's out of sight, out of mind. I mean, it can't affect us if we're not if we're not giving it. If the what I'm saying is, if you oh, really? have a bunch. So, so no, listen, I'm, hold on. So you say out of sight, out of mind. So let's say some race soldier, some guy on the police force is sitting up here listening to Joe Rogan, which he he's real big on cops. A lot of cops like him. So some mm -hmm. cop is sitting up here listening to Joe Rogan. And then when it's time mm -hmm. to raid somebody's house with a no-knock warrant, they run in there, blow somebody's brains out because they sat up listening to Joe Rogan and those guys talk about how inferior black people were and how we have low IQs and yeah. we have a pro propensity to, for violence. So somebody sitting up here working on law enforcement, listening to that, running up in somebody's home, you think that's out of sight, out of mind? But what I will say is if we give it like, okay, he has to be re more responsible with his platform because he does have a lot of followers. He does, have right. a lot of, he does have a lot of influence. But like you yourself, you have influence in, right. you know what I'm saying? In the black community, if we, if we help each other to like, you know what I'm saying? If we like to, to reprogram our, uh, our, our way of thinking and to like our, our, our reaction to disrespect, like Nipsey said, right. it's like, we gotta, we have to, uh, work on the way we react to disrespect. Like we can't right. just jump. We can't jump out the window. Like and giving this man the algorithms. So of, you're saying ignore him? Is that yes, what you're saying? That's exactly how does that what I'm work. Saying. How does it, that work for us? It 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 works because how many people before before this happened were talking? To, black people were talking about Joe Rogan. How does ignoring systematic white but, uh, okay, rhetoric but, work? But what I'm saying, ra racism is a thing. It's a thing. It's 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 real. It's it's real. But I'm saying, giving this racist man that's on a platform, like what I'm saying, is just giving it more light. It's giving it more power. He and already saying, has light and power. He yeah. already has light and power, sir. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from where I'm from you? LA. I'm from where, I'm from California. Where's your family from? Watts, Compton. Okay. My mom, my mom is from Watts, and my dad is from Compton. I'm from Hawthorne. Okay, where did they come from? Are 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 you a foundational Black American? Yeah, uh, Ethiopia. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And that right there is the problem. And this what this this is why many foundational Black Americans are. We got to check people's paperwork. Because a lot of times y'all come from these countries where you do not want to challenge white supremacy and you're perfectly OK with this kind of rhetoric because a lot of you think, well, it's just going to target those jurors. It's not going to target us like that. And that's the problem. I knew you were not FBA the way you were talking, sir. That's not how you get down. All of that. We got to ignore white supremacy. That's why y'all family. I'm not saying I'm not saying sir. ignore white white supremacy. Sir. I'm not saying ignore it. I'm saying ignore ignore Joe Rogan. Sir, you're talking Everyone about is giving it, Joe sir, Rogan. You're, sir, you're saying ignore white supremacy. And that's what your family did, and that's why they had to flee Ethiopia, sir. Do you understand that? Turn your microphone on, sir. You're on a deeper topic of something that's like you're going like too deep into it when I'm saying this is uh pop America, the pop culture. Sir. Joe Rogan, Joe, uh, it's like okay, 
you're going you're going too explain. deep and that's like you should you're be on the explain. surface level of the problem you are the problem sir. is we're giving it too much attention in black sir. history month sir you understand that though that's coward do you want to do that's no. not cowardice that's, coward. that's not cowardice that's, that's giving same, it that is the same cowardice that caused your homeland to fail Y'all ignored white supremacy there. You didn't want to understand how white supremacy is controlling the dynamic of your economy over there in Ethiopia. Y'all run around talking about you've never been colonized, but there's sanctions, there's type of economic deprivation that's orchestrated by the white supremacy in your homeland, but instead people choose to fight each other over there in wars and ignore white supremacy to the point where you have to flee, sir. And that's why you're here now trying to usher in that same failed mentality onto foundational black Americans, sir. Do you see how that is a problem? Turn your microphone it's, on. Bless you, sir. What I'm saying is you're low-key stagnant in the way that you think because you're no, still not, staying in a you're staying in a place of the past. What I'm saying sir, this is the future. It, the sir, future right now, let me Sir, you're babbling, sir. This is not the past. This Joe Rogan is spewing this stuff now. Black people are being targeted now. Uh, Scoby, thank you for the call, sir, because you're, you're just babbling at this point, and I don't want you to waste time. All right. Family, ladies and gentlemen, this is why foundational black Americans have to watch out for people who come around us putting the cape on for white supremacy, talking about we should ignore it. That's failed coward tether talk the minute he started talking like that his spirit told me this ain't no damn fba all you non-fba people y'all see why we've been calling you out and let's be clear there have been some fba people out here with the damn cape on i'm not giving fba people a pass either i've seen too many fba people running around here like plantation buffoons with their cape on for some damn joe rogan not all, but there's a handful. Let's be clear, just a handful. And they should be reprimanded too. But I could tell this guy, the way he was talking, this is not an FBA spirit. You don't ignore white supremacy. You don't ignore somebody who has an audience that big spewing vile anti-black racism. You don't ignore that. The hell are you talking about? That's coward talk. When somebody says just ignore it, that means let's just be okay playing second fiddle to these people. That's tether talk. Please don't bring your tethered failure over here to us. Don't do that. We're going to check that at the door. Don't put that in your mouth. Let me get some more people on here. Cutlass, turn your microphone on, sir. Hey, what's going on, Flex? How you doing, man? I'm good, Cutlass. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. I, I'm not a big Joe Rogan fan at all, man. I, I don't even think he's funny for real, but... um. I, it was something that I was watching on a, a video. I don't want to name drop, but this guy, Sam Cedar, I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he was making some content about Joe Rogan's deal. And it was something interesting that he said. He said that when Spotify gave him the deal, that it was about 30 episodes that they didn't take from him. And I thought it was interesting that they took all the episodes with all the racism and all of the racist scientists and whatnot, but it was 30 other episodes that they just didn't take from him. So it's like all the stuff that should have been questionable that could have kept him out of trouble all this time. They took that, but the other stuff, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what was the reason why they didn't take those other 30 episodes, but I, I thought it was interesting that they could, you know, decide what they wanted to take and what they didn't want, Wow! but they took all the racist stuff. Wow. That, you know what that, I'm saying? Yeah. That's heavy. That's yeah, I thought that was interesting when he said that. And he said it and he just kind of, you know, droned on past it after he said it. But I, I caught it and I was like, damn, for real? So it was some stuff that they, they couldn't, they, they, they could have decided not to take this stuff, but they just took it anyway. So they uh, took the racist yeah. stuff, all of the racist stuff that they wanted to say on purpose. Like they knew that stuff was in there. Exactly. They wanted that stuff. See exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Thank so, you for the call, brother. And see, let me tell y'all something. That's why his audience is big like that, because he knows who he's speaking to. He's speaking to that white majority demographic, that white supremacist demographic. We have to understand, black people, we, we don't have the luxury to sit up here and ignore the fact that 
there's a bunch of white supremacists out here, man. And they love for certain people to speak for them and to them. Black folks, get off this scared stuff. And some of y'all tethers who come over here with that 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 failed man, don't bring that. We we ain't playing that scaredy cat shit. Black folks, stop being scared and acknowledge the fact there's a lot of white supremacists out here. Yes, I know it's scary. A lot of black folks are like, damn, it's so what are we gonna do? Man, there's so many of them and they're so powerful. They got the military behind them. What are we gonna do? First thing, not be a punk. First thing, not be a goddamn punk. Second thing, don't ignore the problem that we have. That's our thing. We keep running into all of these issues because we ignore the elephant in the room, which is systematic white supremacy and so many people in the dominant society that support this ideology. Ignoring this does not help you. Well, if I say something about white supremacy, they're going to get mad at me. They're mad at you anyway, family. Man, you think I care about these white supremacists mad at me all the time? They they stay in my mentions whining and complaining. I get negative articles written about me every day. You know why? Because I'm telling the truth. And I'm not afraid of them. We got to get off this scared nonsense, man. I'm not afraid of them. Man, the price of freedom is death. Also, another saying, man, the secret to life is to live without fear. I'm not afraid to confront these people. Man, I get on these people's channels and I tell them to their faces, you sound like a damn white supremacist. Y'all have seen me get down with, with the Andrew Schultz and people like that. I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them all the time. Understand who you are. Understand knowledge of self. Understand knowledge of them. And when you're draped in truth, you're not going to be fearful. And also, you put yourself in a position where you're going to live on and on anyway. Stop being afraid that these people are going to get you. They're they, they going to get you what, regardless of what you do. So you might as well get got by telling the truth so your message will live on. You give them something to go after you for. Right now, they're going, y'all niggas out here cooning it up, buck dancing, talking all of this, we all the world, kumbaya nonsense, and they're still taking you out. That's the sad thing. I've seen straight up and down sambos who sit up here and cape for these people. You cape for white supremacists and still get taken out by them. That's a sad way to go out. You did all that buck dancing for nothing. Just like these sambos who sit up here tap dancing and do all this, this, this samboing and still get thrown under the bus. We got to stop being afraid. Let me get Yen Scott. Turn your microphone on, Yen Scott. Hello. Um, I just wanted to get on here and say, um, well, firstly, fuck Joe Rogan. But um, I thought it was odd that the title. Um, I just wanted to place um, focus on I didn't like the fact that we as um, people, or you in this case, think that... Um, you know, should crucify this person or et cetera, et cetera, but accept their money as um, a token of forgiveness or, you know, um, whatever. I don't think we should be, I don't even think we should take any money. I think there should be um, a state in which, like, we start to dismantle these people of power. But I don't know. I think it's just I to, uh, why, now, why take them. We, we should take their money because... Though that type of rhetoric harms black people. That no, but I'm saying there's there's several there's several um, successful um, black businesses owners that um, businesses that we could, you know, get donations from for other causes. I don't no. know if you. No, 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 no. And no, that's no, what no, I'm no, saying. No. Well, yes, but no. I'm why just would, saying it's weird like, to want to take. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Slow down, man. Why would we get money from black businesses? Why, why would we do that? That don't make no sense. What, what does that mean? Not, I'm just saying getting money from the people that you want to crucify like, as <laughs> like, oh, we'll forgive you and just give us your money. I think that's just an odd rapport to have with the people who are clearly ignorant and don't, you know. These people are not ignorant, ma'am. Why do you think they're ignorant? Like, they don't know what they're talking about. What makes you think they're ignorant? I'm talking about Joe Rogan. His what comments make, are... What makes you think Joe Rogan doesn't know what he's talking about? Joe Rogan is a very smart white man. He's not ignorant. You think he's ignorant? Did I say he, his comments would give him the um, 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure he's very aware of what he's saying. But I'm saying those are ignorant things to say. I didn't say he didn't know what he was saying. But, so, hey. but when you say somebody's saying something ignorant, that implies they don't know what they're saying. So what do you mean by ignorant comments? I would say I guess he doesn't. Um, you're right. You're right on that one. Maybe ignorant was the wrong word, but he's still I still think he's lacks intelligence if he feels like that's a smart thing to say so i mean hey maybe ignorant wasn't the word but i still don't think yeah where, where, where are you from yen <laughs> i'm from uh, indiana where's your family from dear we're from ohio like we're from ohio indiana like i'm from america are you a foundational black american what do you mean by that did your family descend from slavery here in America? Um, I'm actually not sure, but I don't think that's relevant to the... That means no. It no, means... it means I'm not sure, but... You would know if your family descended from slaves in America. How would you not know that? Slavery wasn't that long ago. How wouldn't I not know if I haven't asked or tried to research, but hey, Ma I mean... Ma'am, you would know if your family members. How were, would you tell me what I know? How would you know? Because you know. Because that, that know? wasn't. Because, how would you know? Because, ma'am, you're getting defensive. That's how I would know, and that wasn't too far from me. So you're an immigrant. You come from an immigrant background. Somebody immigrated from somewhere in Africa or the Caribbean in your family, correct? What does that have to do with taking money from Spotify uh, and Joe Rogan's diamond? Why are you ashamed to admit that you come from an immigrant background, ma'am? Why? How does this? Oh, my God. Your interpretations, your readings into things that haven't been said. Ma'am, why are you ashamed to admit that you come from an immigrant background? Why are you ashamed of that? I'm not ashamed. Um, I just don't think we should be taking money from people you so-called, you know, you don't like. Of. Like, that's weird. Man. So want to get money from them, but then crucify them. I mean, that's weird. It's, the, the, I think we should. If you keep saying the word crucify as if the white man is Jesus. That's why I knew you were not a foundational black American. Your family's from the Caribbean, ain't they? Okay, I'm sorry. My beverage, my word choice isn't of your like. Ma'am, your family, where in the Caribbean is your family from, ma'am? Okay, I'm going to get up, but stop taking money from white people that you don't like. Okay, ma'am. Don't worry. Zaddy is going to be okay, ma'am. You got the cape on for Zaddy. You're caping for Zaddy. <laughs> You're caping no, for I, Zaddy. Yes, fuck she... Joe Rogan. I don't like none of them. I'm oh, saying, I'm... stop that. Ma'am, are you dating a white man right now? Are you dating a white man? You're a weird. Your interpretations, like, what? That's what you're getting from this? That's what you're getting from this? Ma'am, I smell butter biscuits and oxtails. No, you smell your upper lip. That's what... Ma'am, no, I don't. I smell Bammy and Jolof, ma'am. You're either a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, or from the Caribbean. Aren't you, ma'am? Anyway, um... I, I smell curry goat, ma'am. You smell curry goat? Yes, I do. And you're, I ashamed to, you're ashamed to admit that 